Hey guys, how's it all going? So recently I tried out a new method of head tracking which was to use my smartphone as the head tracker. Uh, and it's really easy to do, really easy to set up. It literally took me about 10 to 15 minutes and probably take most people even faster than that. Uh, I'm just a bit of a slow reader. <laughs> but this tutorial won't be a complete, uh, sorry, this video won't be a complete tutorial because there's a really good write-up online already and you can see that on the screen here uh, I'll link this uh, tutorial in the description below but all you have to do is go to this website and follow the instructions below it's really clear really straightforward uh, it'll link you to all the uh, downloads that you need to do so you can use this method of head tracking for both your Windows phone and Android and luckily I have a Windows phone uh, if you have an iPhone, you might be out of luck. I don't see any mention of uh, any support for iPhones. So, yeah, I don't know about iPhones. But you can try. I mean, really, basically, all it is on the Windows phone is all I needed to, to do was to go online uh, into the Windows Marketplace and download an application called OpenTrack Head Tracker. Um, and it's got you can see all the options here so it's got an option for IP address UDP port and refresh rate and if you follow the tutorial it'll tell you exactly what to do um, but basically all you have to do is put your Windows or your Windows machine IP address in there put the UDP port in make sure you're on Wi-Fi uh, select your refresh rate whatever works for you data source is gyroscope you have to have a gyroscope in your phone for this to work I reckon most phones, 9 out of 10 phones out there these days, would have a gyroscope, so it shouldn't be a problem for most people. All you do is hit start. Uh, of course, you do have to set up the software on your computer, which is OpenTrack. Uh, you have to select the correct tracker, so you use the UDP sender, uh, which basically, <clears throat> from my guess, allows an external device to send data to open track over Wi-Fi or over the network um, if you click into the ellipsis here you'll see more options pop up and you put your pawn in and all that kind of stuff again follow the tutorial will tell you exactly what to do uh, your protocol select free track 2.0 enhanced and the filter for Accela uh, there is a bit of fiddling about in the mapping for the your pitch and roll properties uh, again it's in the tutorial it was a bit fiddly and my setup I settled on a little bit different settings so I initially followed the tutorial and then I just tweaked it to how I wanted it so basically if you um, if you don't know how to read the graph it's basically degrees on the y-axis and Uh, on the x-axis, I believe, is how much your gyroscope or your sensor is moving. So, x-axis is the sensor, y-axis is the um, degrees of view. So, 90 degrees view, 180 degrees view. So, 180 degrees mean, meaning that you're looking all the way to your right or to your left. Uh, same with pitch. Uh, and the same thing with roll. I'm not sure why you have to set up roll though because roll doesn't actually work for me uh, It's really only your and pitch that make the biggest difference uh, So make sure that you set these up to your liking, but again follow the tutorial uh, for the basics and then tweak it after that um, The only other thing I would say is you need to maybe have a headband the tutorial uh, says have a pair of headphones or headband I use a pair of wireless headphones you can see I've got rubber bands on the headphones and all I do is put my smartphone in there to hold it in place so something just like this um, so you just slip it in sorry if that's not clear I can't actually see what the the camera is seeing uh, my setup's not the ideal setup for this kind of work but basically uh, basically that's it that's all I do I just have the two rubber bands in a crisscross formation and it holds the uh, 
the phone tightly in place there. Uh, very little wiggle and very easy to do. Um, I'm just going to hit start on this. Parameters not correct. Host name, I've added a number there. No matter. Hit start. And now the only other thing I will say is the phone actually has to be left on. Well, for me. Uh, because maybe because it's the way Windows Phone works, when you lock your screen, the apps actually go into a sleep mode. It's maybe I think that's quite similar to how iPhone manages battery life. So you have to leave the screen on, which is kind of it's not ideal, but then again, it's it's not a big deal either. Um, I'm not sure how it would work for Android. Uh, maybe Android, you might be able to switch the screen off because. Android has true multitasking, but you just have to uh, experiment and, and see. You can see the your pitch and roll um, numbers going crazy there. If I move it around, you'll see the numbers moving, which means the gyroscope is working well. And all you do in open track then is hit start. and wait for it to pick up and you can see when I move the phone around you can see that image of the octopus flipping around there it means it's working which is a good thing so I'm gonna put these headphones on my head now like so and then I'm, I'm just gonna quickly check in the options uh, what my keybind for center was which is very important because uh, you you really need to have a keybind for center. Uh, what this does is when you hit the button, it centers the the uh, the vision on the game for you. So it's very important. So I'm going to switch over to uh, Elite Dangerous here, and you can see uh, I'm actually staring straight at the screen right now, but the uh, the character's looking right at his crotch, so I'm just going to hit the center button and center that, and I'm going to move my head around for some reason the uh, the tilt isn't working that well today it was working a lot better the other day though so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt tab Yeah, I'm going to alt tab and I'm going to I'm going to check out my mapping because it could be something to do with the mapping. So your, which is left and right motion and pitch. So it's uh, for some reason it's not picking up the pitch very well. So I'm just going to reduce the, increase the sensitivity to pitch rather. And I'm going to leave it as linear. That'll do for now since this is only a demonstration. And I'm going to center that again. And look, let, oh, if I look right. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it's too sensitive on the pitch now. So this is the only thing with uh, the head tracking with the phone is it does take a bit of getting used to or does take a little bit of setup that's roll pitch your okay so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually looking at these numbers just to see if it's working pitch seems to be working yeah so there you go uh, head tracking with your smartphone really easy really quick to do it's uh, it works well very low cost uh, incredibly low cost it is a bit it can be a bit finicky at times but the accuracy is quite good I will say and uh, for something that it's actually cost you nothing uh, it's really 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 good 
so there you go uh, smartphone head tracking give it a go log on um, to that tutorial uh, just follow the tutorial like I said it's really easy it didn't take me any time at all and you should be head tracking in no time uh, yeah like I said it can be finicky but I will say that it was working a lot better the other day so maybe it's just maybe I just need to start the app again uh, could be something like that but uh, there you go hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.